distinguished guests, the President of the United States. Before I begin, I'm going to ask for a vote. Do I free the circus today? Anyway, good to see you all. If you have a seat, please take it. It's great to see you all. It's a good morning. I'm honored to welcome, welcome to the biggest edition of this wonderful White House Thanksgiving tradition, and it really is. We've got a lot of special guests here today, children and families from my staff and cabinet. Where are you all? Stay, holler. There you go. There you go. All right. Students from Washington Elliott Hine Middle School. Well, thank you very much. Jill and I met them during the back to school visit. I'm glad you remembered us. Thank you. <laughs> I remember. And Future Farmers of America. Leaders of 4 H councils and leaders across the agricultural community. I just want you to know, everyone here, we're excited to have our honored guest with us today, Liberty and Bell. This is our day. Thanks to the chairman of the National Turkey Federation, Steve Lichen, Steve, and your entire family. I met, got to meet the entire family. And by the way, I, it's my birthday today, and they can actually sign birthday me. I just want you to know, it's difficult turning 60. It's difficult. <laughs> His entire family raised these birds on their family farm in Minnesota. And, and uh, Steve, you, uh, you're grateful to, we're grateful to your entire family. You're a beautiful family. Thank you very much. God, they're big. See, I'm used to chickens in Delaware. We got, we got a $4 billion industry in chickens, but no chicken that big, man, I tell you. Just a few weeks ago, I visited another family farm in Minnesota where we talked about the pride of small towns and communities, rural communities the pride that people have being able to know they can stay there and continue to keep their farms, and how, because of the investments we're making, we're restoring hope and opportunities so family farms can stay in the family, and children don't have to leave home if they wish to stay and make a living on the farm. Look, it matters. And thanks to all the families across America who feed and fuel our nation and the world, I might add. The, uh, the world. The National Turkey presentation is, and pardon marks the unofficial start of the holiday season. We're here in Washington, a time to share joy and gratitude and have a little bit of fun. This is the 76th anniversary of this event. And I want you to know I wasn't there in the first one. I was too young to make it up. <laughs> one thing I want to make clear that was not uh, clear then, you know, uh, even though Liberty and Bell are from Minnesota, they're named for a famous Liberty Bell in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. These birds have a new appreciation of the word, let freedom ring. <laughs> so I'm told by the Turkey Federation of Liberty Bell and Liberty and Bell, they love honey crisp apples. Not bad, huh? Ice hockey. I sure in hell would like to see them play ice hockey. A thousand Lakes and the Mall of America. <laughs> now, just to get here, Liberty and Bell had to beat some tough odds in competition. They had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance Tour or or or. Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. Look, folks, based on their commitment to being productive members of society as they head to their new home at the University of Minnesota, I, going to bring them on up or do I do it there? That's a big bird, man. I'm impressed. I hereby pardon Liberty and Bell. All right. 
Congratulations, birds. <laughs> Congratulations. Look, now let me conclude on a serious note about why we have Thanksgiving in the first place. To remind ourselves, and we sometimes forget this, how we have so much to be thankful for as a nation. This week, we'll gather with the people we love and the traditions that each of us have built up on our own families. We'll also think about the loved ones we lost, including just yesterday when we lost the former First Lady, Rosalind Carter, who walked her own path, inspiring a nation and the world along the way. And let's remind ourselves that we're blessed to live in the greatest nation on this face of the earth. That's what I see when I travel America. I met so many incredible people who do such extraordinary things, including just yesterday, Jill and I visited the largest naval station in the world, Norfolk Naval Station and in Virginia, to serve what they called Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving meal to a thousand servicemen and their families. We owe them. We owe them big. And today's ahead, our families and friends travel and come together to celebrate Thanksgiving. We can all give thanks to the gift that is our nation. And let's remember, we are the United States of America. And there is nothing, 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 I mean this sincerely, nothing beyond our capacity when we work together. We've never come out of a situation, a bad circumstance, not in, without being better off when we come through it. And this is always who we are as Americans. So happy Thanksgiving. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you.